Good morning, y'all. So I had a day yesterday, and yesterday was one of those days where I just felt like I could not get out of bed. I was exhausted physically, mentally, and I just needed a rest. And this morning I got up, I said, nope, I'm not gonna have another day like that. I immediately got up, got myself together, put some makeup on, just, just to kind of whoop, pull myself up out of the bed. And today is actually the first day of winter break. So Ace is home with us today. Uh-oh. Normally it's just me and Aaliyah home during the day, but Ace You're is gonna- okay. You okay? Ace is gonna be with us. So I was like, I don't have time to mope. But luckily, Derek did give me the liberty to just mope around yesterday. And he, you know, did everything that needed to be done for the kids. But I said, no, no, I'm gonna pick myself up by my bootstraps and get going, so. That's what I did, it's like 6.50 or so in the morning and the house is fully up, full fledged. So today's gonna be a good day. I have lots of work to do. I have so much work to do just around the house, um, of course. And then for my actual work, I have to do stuff. So busy day, but I'm just excited to be feeling much, much better. Let me show y'all the most recent elf on the shelf. December 18th. And he's a Chippy and Rosie. Yeah. Chippy and Rosie is what Ace named them. I named Chippy and Rosie when they, got, when they first got here. Yeah. That's a cute name. Those are good names. Wait, I named them on the first. They are my new favorite breakfast. This is Honey Bunches of Oats with some extra added almond. And then I throw in some honey. Perfect, so good. Because you're out of school. It's not permanently nine o'clock, okay? So what time is it? Your normal bedtime is 8, 8, 8 p.m. But daddy said you could stay up last night until nine because you don't have school this morning. That's not permanent. I decided for lunch to make some um, sausage with some onion and I'm gonna saute this up real quick to go along with the um, cheesy potatoes it should be pretty good I'm gonna saute my onions up first because I like my onions cooked pretty good and y'all I'm an onion person I could eat onion every day I could eat it every day my eyes are burning holy cow <laughs> Yowzers, it's a consequence of loving onion. Put my sausage in. Get those cooked right on up. And these are smoked sausage. And pretty soon the potatoes should actually be done any second. Now I'm gonna check those after I get all the sausage added. Okay. They're not ready yet. Coming along. This is what lunch is. Onion and sausage. Y'all, I burned the sausage and some potatoes and cheese. Put a little bit of extra seasoning on them just to bring them to life. And there we go. Simple and easy. Hey guys, it's my day off. And I'm about to do my Frosty Man pancakes. Come check it out. I'm using Hungry Jack Complete Buttermilk. 
I don't measure it out. I'm just gonna throw some in there. I'm gonna use a snowman cookie cutter and I'm gonna place it in there. I'm gonna attempt to get it inside just better than I thought I was going to. Alright, we're icing the snowman. That's yummy. Yeah, I'm probably going to brush it down. Yeah, I think that's kind of a lot to just squeeze over. This is the finished product. It's my Frosted the Snowman pancakes. You want a bite? Yeah. Yes, please. This is, mm, the icing is good. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. You bit the hat off. Okay, y'all. So we decided to actually spend Christmas not at home. We're actually going to Hilton Head, South Carolina for Christmas. We have never done that before. I don't think I have ever in my entire life spent a Christmas that... I like woke up, woken up on Christmas morning and I wasn't at home. This is gonna be something very new, very exciting, and I'm looking forward to it. Hello? Hey. Hey. I don't, I mean, I see like a, one of those like stand up, stand up Santa. Like, okay. and I got like, there's like a gnome Santa. Okay. Like a little stand up, like little gnome. Okay. You want, Ask you when I get that. No, I mean, you did you find the tree? Yeah, I got the tree. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, That's fine because we can even take our little tree. Need, right? Yeah, we can take the little one too. Okay, yeah, we don't really need like decorations and stuff. Oh, that'll be good. We don't really have like a whole lot of just like sit stand, like sit around stuff. Yeah. Okay, babe, I love you. I'll see you when you get home. I'm vlogging. <laughs> Okay, All right. Now. He's looking for decorations for us to take with us to our Airbnb, but in all actuality, I don't think we need to take too many. I already, Aaliyah, Mama, I already emailed the Airbnb and they told us they do not have a Christmas tree up in Airbnb. And of course, we have to have someone for Santa to, to deliver his gifts. So we're gonna take a, tr a Christmas tree with us actually to the Airbnb. How crazy is that? Good morning so i have been anticipating this day for quite a while i'm actually about to head over and meet with the realtor about the house as i um, was explaining on the last video when we met with the contractor they quoted us about fifty thousand dollars to completely remodel the home i think that's a fair quote but that's just a lot of money for a house that we're not exactly sure um, what we want to do with long term so we are also considering the option of selling the property so after i meet with the realtor we can walk walk around and maybe talk about some figures then we'll know if we want to keep and renovate or sell as is i am dreading taking her out but we have to y'all she is she's not feeling well she is she has been kind of st uh, stuffy and very whiny the past maybe 24 hours or so and she's not herself look at that yeah so i've given her some um babies um medicine for like a cough and runny nose and we'll see hopefully we see some improvement okay so i went to go see the house and meet with the realtor um and we walked through took pictures of the house she is going to put a quote together for us and kind of let us know what she what she thinks we should do or not even necessarily what she thinks we should do she's going to let us know the numbers um as far as like uh, the value of the home um how much homes are going for in the area and she said she would get that report to us within the next 24 to 48 hours and she also knows a contractor that may be able to give us a better quote so I'm looking forward to hearing from her in the next day or so. And we cannot wait to update you guys on the next vlog. See you then. Bye.